to a Coach Dave Academy lab guide from myself, Kieran Harrison. This week, I'm in the Mazda MX-5 at Alton Park International for Week 5 of the Global Mazda Cup within iRacing. Without further ado, let's get into it. So there we have it, that was the fast lap around Alton Park International. I'm now going to take you around on a slow lap where I try and point out everything I'm doing on the lap, such as breaking points, references and driving lines. So let's get into that. So here, here we are, we're just starting before the final corner. Uh, I'll talk about the breaking point for this corner when we get to it at the end of the, the slow lap. But if you're setting up the lap, just try and open it up as much as possible to get on the power as early as possible to start a fast lap. Uh, this is the, this is the, the not so straight front straight. Um, just stay mostly to the middle uh, and then get back across to the left for this reference here on the the board on the left with the arrow. I'm driving just past that and where the advertising boards, just as that black one starts to go out of sight, that's where I'm braking. It's only down one gear from fourth to third. Um, but the the idea with this corner and generally with this car. Try and hit the apex quite late so you can get on the power nice and early and get a good exit. It doesn't have the most power, so you've got to try and get a good exit to keep the speed up. Just watch out for the off track on the exit of turn one, it's quite strict. And it's the same story here through turn two and then turn three. Um, so you want to stay right across the right hand side. I'm braking just as you hit the dip, just, just as the car starts to go downhill. That's where I'm braking again, down from fourth to third. Trying to get in for a nice late apex so you can just get flat out on the power and maximize the exit. Um, and again, as it is in turn one, you've got to be really careful with the off track on the exit here. It's particularly harsh. I don't think you can go much more than two wheels off the edge of the circuit. Um, but then we come onto this mini straight uh, before the fast left. I think we get up to fourth gear again, but this time we leave it in fourth for the corner. Uh, just as just where this gravel is here. A little bit on the right there. That's, I'm having a tiny dab of the brakes and I'm starting to lift the corner. You don't want to dip your wheels in the grass before the curb, but if you can hit the curb, that's perfect. Uh, just balancing the throttle through the corner so you don't run too wide. But you don't have to get all the way back across to the left for the hairpin. You, I like to kind of be in the middle, middle to left. Um, and then it's breaking down two gears down to second. This corner's nicely cambered, so you've got to try and get right into the inside. And then you can actually carry more speed than you would expect because of the camber. Uh, you can get on the power nice and easy as well. There's loads of grip. Just get it straight on the power in second. And then up to third gear for the next corner. Um, this one you want to stay as far right through this little kink before braking. Um, and then you sort of round about here. I don't have a specific reference. But about this distance from the corner you want to sort of point it at that first apex curb. 
braking gently down to second because if you brake too hard it'll disrupt the car too much on the curb. Um, just down to second and then trying to get as close to this tie barrier as possible on the right hand side before getting hard on the power. Again, remember not to run too wide because the off track's nice and strict there as well. But then it's flat out onto the straight for the final left of it. I think we get up to fourth gear just about here before the braking zone. Um, I'm braking just marginally after this 100 meter board here. Uh, down from fourth to second. Um, and then the, the objective in this triple chicane really, you just want to get as close as you can to the, the tire barrow on the inside. Um, and then there's a quick burst of throttle here before another small dab of the brakes just to keep it tight through here. Uh, then gently back on the throttle because you want to really get back across to the left hand side before the final part. So just open it up because then you have a bit of a straight afterwards. You need to try and get the exit as maximized as possible. Um, so then we want to use all the curb on the inside and all the curb on the exit. I think you can pretty much run to the exit edge of the AstroTurf, but not quite to the edge. You want to use as much as the game will allow you to get away with. And then we come onto this also not so straight straight um, under the bridge. Um, so this, this corner is one of the more tricky ones on the circuit. So it kinks left just before you want to be braking. So you want to come in from the right hand side and then make sure you stay left just after this curb. Kind of just get to the edge of the curb here on the exit. Now my, my only braking reference for this corner is sort of just as the track starts to turn back to the right. So about here, just reverse so I can show you it again. You can see the track kind of kinks right just as it's finished going right and it's straight again that's about where I'm braking um, it's just down one gear and you want to carry a lot of speed in because the first apex isn't that important it's all about getting the second apex to try and maximize the run under the straight before the final corner as you come over the crest it should be fine in this car it doesn't have too much power but just be careful not to lose the rear use all the curb on the exit and then spot in the braking zone for this final corner again there's one of those marker boards with a right hand arrow on it. I'm braking just just marginally after I go past it. It's down from fourth to second and this one again as I've said all through the lap it's important to maximize the exit so really want to turn in late get a nice late apex and then just get flat out on the power use all of the exit curb that you can after the crest and then just keep it nice and tight to the left for the run to the lines to shorten shorten the lap no need to run any longer than we need to. So there we have it, that was the lap guide for the MX-5 at Alton Park International. I hope you found it helpful as we get into week 5 of the Mazda Cup. And remember the key thing, due to the car's lack of power, is to really try and maximise the exits of the corners. It doesn't have enough power to make it up again if you do get a bad exit, so it can be a crucial way to, I guess, defend and overtake and also make up lap time. Uh, and do remember to watch out for the cold tyres on lap 1, it can be a bit deadly. But that's all from me, so I'll see you in the next one.